Welcome to TMB Designs. I am Trevina, your host of this fabulous lifestyle channel. It is full of inspiration, motivation, and creativity. My desire is to help you transform your space from house to home. Good morning. This is Trevina with TMB Designs coming to you with an SOS video. Although I have promised this video for quite some time, I got an email that made me get up and get to it. So I had one of my sisters from the YouTube family reach out. She's a young um, married, young married couple, military. She is getting ready to move into their new place. She said literally they are coming to pick up her furniture in a few hours. And so she wanted some organization tips when they moved to the new place. She got a new baby. So she wanted to make her transition as easy as possible. So for that reason, I'm going, um, I'm stopping my fall decor, whatever, whatever to put together a quick kitchen organization video for her. So sis, this is. Okay guys, so I'm gonna just jump right in. And although I'm giving these tips for my um, TMB family member, I wanna give enough tips or give helpful tips that everybody can use regardless of what your situation. So I'm gonna start, probably I'll just start from here and work my way over. And so for me, I have a um, limited and a small kitchen. So you have to kind of plan out your zones. And so here, I think it's wise, please, y'all getting a little sneak peek of my fall, but anywho, um, if you have cabinet above your dishwasher, I would say do your drinkware and your dishes closest to your dish to your dishwasher and closest to your sink. See, my sink is here, my dishwasher is here. So for me, this became my, this whole little section became my dish area because it's closest to the dishwasher. So that way, when you're unloading your dishwasher, you can just simply, you know, reach up or reach down or whatever and put your items in there. So we're gonna start right here. And I have my glasses um, stored here. And depending on your height of your cabinets, these are very um, shallow um, cabinets is what I'm working with. So you, again, consider your space, but when you know you're working with a small space, you have to be really, really wise in the way that you store your items. So I'm sorry, in the top I have like some of my daily use wine glasses, teacups, those type of things stored on the top shelf. And then I move down to my glasses. Again, more cups on that shelf and then so on and so forth. So ideally I would have liked to have all of these on the same shelf, all of the cups on the same shelf, but because of the height of the cabinets, I wasn't able to do that. So I did it in zone. So I have all of my glass here and then cups here, if that makes sense. So when you're storing, try to keep light things together. It just makes organizing and keeping things decluttered, it just makes it so much easier. So this way you're always able to kind of keep a regular inventory of what you have. If you buy new items and you need to get rid of something because if your space is limited, you don't have anywhere else to store it. So this is kind of how I store my items. And these are all sets that I love, little extra cups. So just kind of keep them all zoned in a particular way. Now, if you have taller cabinets or if you have cabinets where you're able to do like the stackable shelves, then you can get obviously more items in there. But because these cabinets are so low, I couldn't, I had the shelves, nothing would fit. So I had to just do it, you know, work with what I had. So that that's my strategy here. But again, if you have taller cabinets, then you can do the stackable and give you a little bit more vertical storage space. So that's cabinet number one. So we're going to move over. Cabinet number two, this is where I store my dishes. Again, this is all in my, uh, the zone of my dishwasher. Cause it, again, the dishwasher is there. So when I take dishes out, I simply just either go up for dishes down for, for me, it's, you'll see in just a minute, I have like my glass bowls and stuff like that. So up here is where I keep my dishes. And though I know my, <laughs> my dish collection may be a little bit excessive, but hey, don't judge. I'm showing you organization, okay? So here I have all of my dishes again. I keep everything um, together, like things together. Although I couldn't put my cups, the cups are here, uh, over here. But it's still, you know, everything is zoned together. And I like to color code everything. This is one of my favorite collections. Um, it's I got this from Big Lots many, many years ago when I lived in Texas and I absolutely love it. 
um, then there are my classic white. These are pretty much what we use most of the time. And again, if you had the stackable, if your cabinets were tall enough, you could do the stackable thing to make it easy for you to just pull things out. We don't have that luxury, so we just, again, got to work with what we have. So consider those things when you are doing your storage. You know, consider the spacing that you're working with and also the dishes that you have. If you don't have this many dishes, then if you just have one or two sets, then you have all of this real estate up here to store other items. But for me, your girl had to make space for her dish collection. So, and this is just my daily use. It's not my decorative type of dishes. So that is what I have here. Everything is stored together in this particular grouping. So when you're doing that, again, it helps you with keeping up with your inventory. Do you need any extra items? And if you buy something else, get rid of something. It kind of helps you to keep your house neat and organized without being over cluttered. So that is that. Moving down now to my, um, I have here, because I'm right-handed, I just always store my stemware, things like that, to the right. If you're left-handed, you store it. If you have cabinet space, you store it to the left, but consider how you will function in your space. And most kitchens, most good design kitchens, a well-designed kitchen, shall I say, will have the, the triangle little deal, like you'll have your refrigerator, your sink, and then your stove. So it's kind of like that that three triangle thing. So it makes it easy for you to flow and function in your space. And with that, you store things according to the zone. So again, this is my sink. My dishwasher's here. So dishes will go to the right. And then here is my cabinet here down to the right of the dishwasher. And then this cabinet ain't the most organized, but hey, I have here the, I picked this up from Walmart. And they have the expandable ones, which I do plan to go get the expandable ones. But again, you got to consider your space. I'm going to get the expandable ones for my larger spoons and my cook utensils. So that's that. And then I have here little dessert spoons there. A couple of sets. Like I need to do some um, sprucing up to this that I got this from Habitat for Humanity. Got a great deal on it. So I'm going to spruce them up. And then that's just a set that I got on flea market but of course it's my color so I didn't want to get rid of it yet but some of the pieces were missing but um, that's just there you can definitely store that differently if you have the space you can put it in a clear container and have them stackable but I don't have that luxury here so these will go back into like one of these Ziploc bags and once I clean that up it'll go into a Ziploc bag here are just some muffin the little heat little deals for your oven mitts it's like the silicone oven mitts or what have you or for your pots I picked these up from, I believe, the Dollar Tree, if I'm not mistaken. Is it a Dollar Tree or Ross? So, organization items does not have to be expensive. You can go to the Dollar Tree, you can go to Walmart, you can go to Target, Bed Bath & Beyond. You certainly don't have to break the bank for organization um, items. And again, as you see here, I have these and just a little zip like bag. So, it doesn't necessarily have to be overly extravagant. You just kind of want to keep everything zoned together. These are the ones that we readily use daily. Um, straws, bottle opener, my lemon and lime little squeezer here. And then these are just my drying mitts, towels, and oven mitts. And I try to keep everything zoned together so I would know where everything is. So that is that cabinet. Then moving down here, typically if I had bigger, a larger space, I would have this separated. It is very dark down here, but I'm gonna try to give you good lighting. Okay, so here, I normally like to have my glass storage or glass cooking ware in one cabinet and have my plastic in another, but I don't have that luxury in this home, so I had to store them together. But as you can see, it too is organized. I have my plastic bowls with the lids, so I store them with the lids, and so that one is like a three piece, and I just nested them all together with the lid, so I keep up with everything. That's another little mixing bowl set. That is my, um, what is that? My meal prep little containers, popcorn containers, and then this little storage bowls for lunch. And then that's another little set. And that, that blue set came from uh, Dollar, Dollar General. My little popcorn deals came from Walmart. Most of these came from Walmart. So, and my little white containers, they came from 
home goods, my white serving dishes. And then this here is my KitchenAid mixer set. Again, everything is kind of zoned and coded together. My glass bowls, my baking dishes. So there you have it with that. Just try to store items like things together. These are bowls and storage containers in the same um, cabinet. But even if you have to store the glass and the plastic together, if you keep them zoned, you know, in the same family, that will help keep things organized. So hopefully these tips are very helpful to you. We're gonna move over to the... Okay, so now we are over by the stove. And with that, I like to do, of course, if you're at the stove, your pots and pans will be stored. This is just kind of how I do it. This is not the rule of thumb, but wherever my stove is, I try to store my pots and pans closest to that area, as well as like your big utensil, cooking utensils are in there. Now this, it's not the best organization, but hey. Again, the space is limited as far as how wide, but I wanna get the expandable um, little deal to separate everything. But as you can see, even if you don't, if you keep everything zoned together, you can keep some organization in here. So here you see my little spoons, knives, mixing little deals all together, tongs together can opener, pizza cutter, peeler, and my little ice cream dipper and scissors, um, cooking shears. So everything again, my mixing, measuring cups, some of my kitchen aid little tools, everything is still, although I don't have anything separating or dividing it, I still have them zoned in a certain way. So even without purchasing items to divide, if you keep them organized inside, that does help. Now, let me say this, because I have, I do have in this one, the little liners, if you see that, the little plastic liner, just to help protect the cabinet, so the, and also to keep your cap, your utensils from touching the actual drawer itself. So that helps, even if you can't do anything else, I would suggest going, this is from the Dollar Tree, you can get any color, um, and you can get the little textured hold ones, just different things like that. Line your cabinets with that to help protect your dishes or your serveware from touching the actual drawer. Especially if you move into a new space. Even if you clean it out, it's just a little bit more sanitary to keep something in there. Ideally, you want to have dividers, but in the case that you don't, this will suffice until you get what you need. Just keeping everything together. Knives, spoons and spatulas, tongs and mixing items, and then extras over here. So that kind of helps mixing um, your measuring cups there. So everything is still kind of even though it's not divided, it's zoned. So keep that in mind. If you don't have, if you can't go out and get the dividers right now, just organize them visually so that it makes it easy for you to attain them when you want to use them. So that is that, okay? Then going down from, and this is again to the right of my stove. So going down here, this is where I keep my pots and pans. So I have my, you know, again, work with the space that you're given. And if you can stack anything, stack stackable things will help save you um, and your storage solutions. And so there, my smaller pots up top, skillets and bigger pots and saucepans are there. And then I just have some um, containers, pitchers there. And I use that for like my pancake mix or something, like some kind of batter or something if I have extra. So that's what I use that for. So again, I line the bottom with the Dollar Tree liner and it just kind of helps to keep things from scuffing up the cabinetry and different things like that. So that is that if you needed to use this space here, you could certainly add hooks or what have you to hang pots or just anything that you needed to hang extra. So all of the space in your cabinet is prime real estate. So if you had to utilize, like put little hooks on the side in there, you definitely could. But I have just the one cook pot set and then all of my baking things are stored here. Although I know this is a warmer for your oven. When you have small space, you have to double dip. So this is where I keep all of my baking dishes, different things like that. So consider that if you have a stove that has this space, use it for storage if you don't have enough space to put your baking dishes, your muffin pans, your cutting boards, your rolling pin, different things like that. That's what this, and then my cast iron items are also in this particular cabinet or shelf. So that is that, okay? Moving on to the next, so this is to the, let me pack, this is to the left of my 
stove. Again, this one you want this to be your cooking storage area or for like small appliances or different things like that. And ideally, what's a, a, above it would be this is where I have like my well, I'll show you that in a minute, but um, I just kind of want to help give you the zoning tips as well. Again, refrigerator, food, <laughs> stove, cookware, um, dishwasher, dishes. So that kind of helps to keep things, I'm sorry for moving so fast, just kind of help to keep things zoned and it make it make sense. Again, function in your kitchen or in your space how you are. If you're left-handed, you most of your items that you use the most will be predominantly stored to your left. But if you're right-handed, you just traditionally traditionally store things to the right. So that's why I have mine stored this way. You can certainly switch it up if that helps. And in this cabinet, this is where we have um, like my aluminum foil, my extra teas, um, bag clips, straws, just different things like that. Anything that I would need, um, filters for coffee, hot cocoa tea, just extra things are stored in here. So, and again, there's no separated um, mechanism in here. I just have it organized and zoned according to how I use them. So this, again, is not set in stone. This is how I use it, but I want to give you tips to help you organize in whatever way you see fit in your space. But whatever it is, keep like things together, makes life so much easier. And so let's go down to the next cabinet, which for us, this is kind of where we do our paper goods. Hubby had coffee, so this is what that is like that on his way out. And so this is where we store, I don't know why we still have the old coffee maker, but we, anywho, we still have it. So that's that. And then we have like ice cream, little cups. This is a lot of our plastic, we're our on the go type of things. Like I said, the coffee mug, our paper goods, when we entertain, you have extra napkins and different things like that in here. So yeah, this is real time. I didn't do any extra cleaning or organizing. I just got the email and I came in and started recording. So that is how that is. Let me get in here and see. Again, you uh, utilize the space how it works for you. If you have young babies, then this will probably be where you store like their little um, utensils. You see that's some more storage back there. Um, extra spoons, forks, napkins, straws, that type of thing. So again, store it to the way you live. But this is what we have here because we do a lot of own like mugs and stuff. So I keep all of that stuff here when my little nieces and nephews come over. This is their little go-to little sippy cups, that type of thing. Just make life easier for you. So that is that. Let's place that back there for now. And there is how you store that, okay? Now, again, in the kitchen, I'm right-handed. If you have your pots and pans here, ideally you want to do, if you have this, if you have like the little custom racks for seasoning, or you can even use this drawer for seasoning if you want to put your utensils up on the cabinet itself. That's up to you, but I use this cabinet here for my seasoning and whatever little sauces. I do bottles up top. Again, like things together. Bottles up top, boxes. For me, it's medicines because again, we're limited on our storage. So I would love to have a medicine cabinet, but I don't. So part of this has to become medicine cabinet. And then the other part is just like for cans or different things like that. So it's, again, it's kind of zoned together. Bottles up top, taller, because that's the tallest shelf. Taller items will go up there. And then seasonings, which I, the things that you use the most, you want to have them at your um, disposal easily. So here are my seasonings. So I'm at the kitchen, I'm cooking, and I can just boom, just go in and get the season as I need them. So consider that when you are storing or organizing your kitchen. How do you function? in your space so that is that now going above my I have a microwave here if you don't have any upper cabinet or microwave your cabinet may be a little longer or deeper but utilizing the space that you have this is where we store our dry goods um, and some of my storage containers so I have like beans and rice potatoes pastas, brown sugar, white sugar, flour meal, you know, the usual olive oil and then canola oil in the back. So that is how I use this space. So I have them in airtight containers because the heat from the oven can sometimes um, alter the longevity of your items if they're not in an airtight container. So 
I ideally want to have those labeled, but because we know we're going to be hopefully moving soon, I want to wait until I get into my, you know, permanent residence to do the official labeling and storing of sort. But right now this is functioning well for me. And if you're in a temporary location and you want to go ahead and label it, feel free to do so because they probably won't change, but I just, I just said I'll wait. But this is just another way to keep things nice and organized. Whereas if they were all in the bags, it would be kind of crumbly up here. Stuff would just be disarray. So this helps me keep things organized. Even though it's not labeled, I can visually see what's in each container. And when I'm running low, I can see what I need to revamp on. Like I know I need more sugar. I know I need spaghetti because that container is empty. So, so on and so forth. It just helps you to keep better inventory of things in your space. So that is that. And then last place. Now this is kind of like our little snack, breads, nothing much going on over here. We're, we're keto-ish, so we're kind of scaling back on the starchy items, which is typically where, what would go here. Chips would go here. Um, boxes of like your little, what is it? Like your hamburger helper, crackers, those type of things would go there and then your breads. But because we're keto-ish, keto-ish, I said, we're cutting back on this particular zone in the home so but popcorn will always be on deck for me that's nothing to do with organization it's just a slight obsession but anywho let's move over to the final yeah the final space is above your kitchen cabinet if you have um cabinetry above your not cabinet above your refrigerator this is where you would ideally store the items or appliances that you do not use regularly so see for me I don't have a lot of cabinet space, so I can't leave crock pot, blender, those type of things out. So for me, this is where I keep those things. So let me open this up and show you here. You would keep the items that, again, that you don't use as often. Our blender, our ninja, small crock pot, large crock pot air popper, you know, just things like that. Whatever it is, it could be a food processor, it could be an air fryer, whatever items that you don't use on a daily basis and you don't have um, any storage outside of the kitchen or on your cabinet space, store those items away above the refrigerator so that way you don't have to um, fight to get to them. You know exactly where everything is. Again, it's all zoned together. So hopefully these tips were useful to you and you can get moved in, whether it's the young lady that emailed me or anyone just moving into a new space and you have a small space, I would say be creative and think about how you want to function in your space. So um, here, again, not a lot of cabinetry, but I knew that I want to be decorative as well as functional. So my KitchenAid is always readily out. So. If I want, I can just remove those items and use that if necessary. Um, teapot is always out. It's cute, it's functional. It gives me both purposes. My These just store like extra things when we get pizza. There's um, pepper and Parmesan cheese and extra napkins and condiments and different things in there. My toaster we use quite a bit. Well, before we hang keto-ish, we use it quite a bit. So just different things like that. Think of how you want your space to function and work from there. So hopefully you guys, this has been helpful. And if it was and you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join this TMB family. I would love to have you. We are full of positivity and creativity and I want to interact with you on other social media sites. TMB Designs 2 on Facebook, TMB Designs 2 on Instagram. So until the next video, I want you all to have a blessed, beautiful, and most organized day.